All right, good morning, RCA students. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. I want to go over a couple little things I'm going to be working on today. I've got a little project um, here at the house. It's Wednesday. Uh, yeah, I know it's Wednesday because I threw the trash out here. So it's Wednesday, I think it's the 16th, something like that. Maybe the 15th, I don't know. So anyway, I'm just looking for uh, a little project to finish up during the day in between classes and so I can show you how to use a few tools. So what I have here, I think a lot of y'all are probably familiar with it if you're a senior or something. This is a boat, a little canoe I built a few years ago. I found a little design flaw in it and um, I'm not sure if it's as much a design flaw or the way I had it stored. So what the problem is, this piece of wood right here, if you can see it, we cut this out, made like a dado cut. So this is one piece of wood you can see it here and we took this cut this out and then we laid this luon which is just like a plywood like a small piece of pl thin plywood and um, underlayment we've used some of this in the lab before so it's really thin we took it put it in there and then glued it to that and then put these little uh, ribs on it and it worked great as far as holding up the problem is when I stored it upside down water came sat on this even though it was sealed it sat there and through capillary action it wicked it back up in it's kind of like putting a paper towel on something that's wet and it pulled the uh, moisture back up in to the wood and caused it to delaminate the little layers of the plywood delaminated so what i have done so far i did this last night um, was i went through and cut any area that was rotten so it could dry because it wasn't able to dry i thought what i would be able to do is just glue it back together put like a little straw down in there and squirt some glue in it and then i got to thinking you know when you're out in the big water <laughs> you don't want to have done something halfway and so i figured i should just go ahead and fix it the correct way so what i'm going to do today is i'm actually going to take this cut all these out smooth i have some lou on um let's see in my little trailer over here that somebody was one of my neighbors was kind enough to give to me um they did a little kitchen renovation so what this stuff's normally used for is it is underlayment that goes under the floor so it, whenever you do the floor uh, if you do vinyl it makes it all nice and smooth so you put down your big plywood which is this stuff here three quarter inch plywood tongue and groove and then you put down this luon and this is what we're talking about i know everybody's seen this from the so it's just a really thin plywood it's real light and if i had not it wouldn't have much strength to it but what we did was we put fiberglass on it which was uh which smells really bad but this right here has a uh, little layers of it's like a mat um a fiberglass and you put this resin on it you can kind of see it it didn't turn out too great there but we were thinking more about the strength and not about the looks so anyway today that's what's going to be the little project i'm going to kind of work through this as we're doing class and because i've got to first i've got to cut all this out even cut a piece of that put it here glue it clamp it put all this back because as you can see the only thing left on this is this one little thin layer so i'm going to have to glue all this back and just make sure we got strength you can see i got it on this side and i really i'm thinking what probably happened was it was caulked right up in here at the top and i think water may have gotten in some places but yeah you can see it right here too but maybe it's the way it was leaning down the only place the water and this just happened in the last uh couple of months it was stored back behind my house so i think when we had all that rain so that's what's on for today i'm gonna try to finish that and uh i'm gonna do a couple of videos as we get it done and i'll be posting those with uh different tools i'm using so hopefully everybody's staying safe and um find something to do outside like a little project or something right around the house because um this is really gonna be a nice day but hopefully i'll see you all online thank you